Hi again, this is Sheila. Hi again, this is Sheila from Mam's Kitchen. And we're having today my grandson and my uh, granddaughter in love who's going to be making cornbread muffins. They've already added their meal and their flour to the bowl. They've got three cups of meal. That's white lily self-rising meal and two cups of self-rising white lily flour. They've added one cup already of uh, mayonnaise and that's whole mayonnaise. So I'm going to turn it around and let them finish for you and let them introduce themselves. Alright guys, I'm Isaac. Um, I'm the one shuffling in the ingredients with my beautiful wife, Lexi. Hello. So, as you can see here, we've done made a mess. And uh, we, have. we have a good, man and that's not butter, believe it or not, that's mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, so like Mammy said, we did the three cups of milk, but it's actually half a cup, so three scoops. <laughs> of meal and then two three, scoops three shovels of the flour which is again think a half a cup and now, then we're three. doing a cup and a half of mayonnaise so this is a cup measurement and we're just finishing up a half and i'll be honest with you if you're trying to track the measurements i'd go ahead and just throw that paper out the window because it's not going to happen in ma'am's kitchen yeah we don't do measurements here <laughs> we no. don't do cups we do shovels it'll turn out just fine yes it no will matter what. okay right, so you can take that over there you saw him do the, the let me water get, let me get so my, just leave your water drizzling your daily tablespoon here oh yeah let me get over here where you can see what he's doing just drizzle there you go just a slight drizzle as we mix we're just mixing with a slight drizzle here you want this to turn into a paste consistency. Yes, ma'am. About as pasty as our skin. And you wanted a... Yeah, we are quite pasty. <laughs> except Mammy. She's got some good old Native American in her. As we... And as you can see, my grandson and uh, most of my family are loving to participate in the cooking they're learning they're newlyweds they just got married in july of this past year we're already and, wanting a divorce oh that's not true <laughs> so anyway they're learning different techniques and different cooking of of uh, southern cooking because that's what my grandson loves and now my granddaughter in love she is uh, learning all these things and she is our cookie maker in the family she will be putting one of her cookie recipes on later she absolutely makes the best precious most chewable lovable cookies you've ever eaten in your life you're blowing my head up Mamie. no you're no gonna, no, you're, no. Yeah, you're she is it, i cannot right. beat her so i've quit doing the cookies so she's our <laughs> cookie maker in the family what kind of cookies am i making you're going to make the biscoff Oh, I love the biscuits. Yes, cookies. and the uh, molasses cookies. Mm -hmm. So perfect. you can see the consistency he has here. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more a little water. Yes. And while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the first round of muffins that my son-in-law and grandson made. Of course, my son-in-law did not want to be on video. They're already in the <laughs> oven. And you oh, see no, how no. big and huge they are. Those are cornbread muffins and they're looking beautiful. Also, I have my uh, cabbage casserole and my corn casserole in there. We are also having uh, fried potatoes at my grandson's request. So, on the fried potatoes, the way, the way you get those crispy is you turn them up on high to begin with. And you get that good golden uh, crisp bottom on them and then after you get them uh, uh, done almost done after you get them as crispy as you want on the bottom you put you a, a lid over them and they will be soft and just delicious also I have my cook my fried cabbage on and it's a huge pot of fried cabbage and we added salt and black pepper to that and it's frying also I think we've got All them right, ready here. and you're going to forget to spray your and be generous with your baker's very, joy. Very, very generous. We're going to spray all around. That way we don't get any amount stuck down in there. <laughs> and these are some older pans, so they're well... Uh, they're well loved. Yes, they're well treated as yeah. far as... I usually don't have any to stick. Okay, now we're, we're ready. You can see the consistency here. You see the consistency? There we go. And then yeah, they're going nice. to take the ice cream scoop. And it does really good as far as measuring your um 
your cornbread into your muffin pan. Miss Lexi will be doing that. I'm so like, proud of her. She has like been big old cornbread. Yes, we do. We're from the south. The bigger, the better. Yes, uh, we're yes. Big old boy. Well, yeah. you know, <laughs> I always you know, said this. Thick is being healthy, yes, so. I said this was the house of the big one. So <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's not one little one here. My husband is about six four, and he he's most he's the, little. He's the skinny one, but only from waist down. God has blessed him with a good metabolism. Yes. All right? Some of us are not as blessed with a great metabolism. Ooh, something's popping over there, girl. Okay, let me go back. Okay, yeah, because I'm making a mess. While she's doing that, I'm going to check my potatoes. Is that kind of the wrong way? You can show me. Pure concentration as she digs the bowl. As I dig the bowl. <laughs> yeah, gotta get out all the good stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Don't be mistaken. Don't be mistaken. This is an ice cream. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is an ice cream. 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 Yeah, this it's ready to go. Also, we have a huge, huge uh, kettle uh, or a big giant bowl of hog jaw and bacon. And it has uh, <laughs> been drained and it's not greasy. It's absolutely delicious. And I think we're ready to go back to Miss Lexi to where she can put her uh, cornbread in the oven. This apparently didn't make as much, so some of these won't be as hefty as others. Fine. There's only like, I think three of them that are not going to be as uh, thick. Right, and you've had <laughs> and your... you hear some crunching. That's Isaac crunching on some hog jowl back there. <laughs> okay, well if you, when you get this ready, you put it in a, you put that in an oven. If you have a confect oven, which I have, which I really love, you put that on uh, 450 degrees. And it's, uh, and I guess that it may be uh, 30 to 45 minutes. I can also uh, make sure of that and put that in the comments. So she's ready now to go towels, in the actually. oven. I'm going to grab some paper towels. I need to wipe it off. Got a little bit messy. And it doesn't matter if some of them are big and some of them are small. It'll be just fine. We love them fine. at any size. Yes, they'll be just fine. I'm just cleaning up my messes. I don't want it to burn on the edges. As you can see here, Lexi's husband's cornbread looks better than hers already. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a shout out to GM, my grandma, Dorothy. Yeah. Because she definitely taught me how to cook whenever I was younger. We used to do a, a cooking with my grandma and grandpa for Christmas. So... Shout out to Dorothy. All right, we're ready. Pop the cookies over. Okay, now we're going to put those in there, and so we're ready to go. And again, I want to go ahead and show you those potatoes. Uh, when you get this crisp, crisp on the bottom of your fried potatoes, and we just sauce them and fry them, uh, sauce them thin, and I like mine to have that crisp on them. Uh, when they get just about like that and they're sort of halfway done, well, what we do is we put a lead on them and we cut the heat down just a little bit and we just let them sit there till they get tender and amazing and, and I showed you the cabbage and you'll get a brown uh, glaze on your cabbage too when you fry it. It's one of our favorites here. We like uh, tender brown fried. See all that goody in there? And I got that word goody from it from Miss Brenda Gant's videos. I love her videos. It would uh, be very I would I would love to cook with her one day because she has been a great inspiration to me. And also I have learned a lot from my grandmothers and my mama and my mother in law. But anyway, the family seems to love all this and this is gonna be our New Year's dinner and uh we want to thank God for it and thank God for our many blessings. 
and we hope that you have enjoyed this of course it's been a a pleasure always showing you some of the things that we cook if you need the recipe all you got to do is text me and i will put them in the comments for you so happy new year to you all and may god bless